Okay, so it's night time, but we're going to get over that. What I want to do here is show you something I just made live on this on our server. All right, so here we go. We have some doorways that I made, all right? This one's steel. So we're going to use a called a hide block steel. A place with this hide block steel just because these walls are steel. You can't see anything. Then you take an item called a remote and you click on that. You hear that? And I click on it again. Doorway. Click on it again. No door. That's a hidden door. Now over here it looks like reinforced wood just once, right? So let's say we have this one. Hide block reinforced wood. Same thing. See that? There's the doorway. Now it's reinforced wood metal, right? One of those as well. Now it's always the block to the left, so... Ta-da! Door. Okay. Something else we put in. Right now, I have it for brick, decayed brick, concrete, steel, reinforced concrete. All right, stone. I haven't got terrain working yet in the old wood. And you use that thing called a remote. Now, these are all unlocked. These are unlocked by this. In here, you'll see all these hide block recipes. But the book unlocks the hide block base. Okay. And you'll notice in that recipe, it's a pole block wrought iron, which you need the heavy metal book to unlock, and the remote. So you'll see all these, but you can't make it without this. You see? Requires the hide block base. Requires the hide block base. Requires the hide block base. Okay? And the reason it's four, it's usually it's four. I try and get the materials, resources to even out. Is because you place one and it looks like two, right? And then when you click it again, it gives you another two blocks. So this is the one block since it's reinforced wood plus metal. And that's that one. All right, concrete again. You place you place it once, this hide block right here, and it covers two spots. Remember it covers the doorway? You click it with a remote. And the next two become the hide block door. Right? So this affects four blocks, which is why you have four blocks for all of it. And it breaks too. Okay, now the remote. You'll think you have everything made, but if I hover my mouse over that spot, nothing, nothing. Cable. It's cable one. Where do you get cable one? In the Z coin store, right? In the shop. That's where you buy it. Also, the book unlocks drawbridge base, okay? Scrap cable can be found or it can be made from cable one. So we take the bridge. Now, wherever, whatever direction you're facing the bridge, you got to be careful. It sort of conforms to the terrain, so you want a flat surface. So let's face east. All right, now click on over the remote. You see what I mean? Uneven terrain. The water block, even though it doesn't look it, sits a little higher. So this is what it did for me. Click on it again. Bridge. Now let's say you have a pit around your base. All right, and it looks kind of something like this. There goes my bridge block.
I get up here, and that's my base on that side. So I do this. That's my bridge, you see? And when you're and when you're done on that side, click back. Now granted it's it's not real good against players, but Can you see how handy that could be against zombies? No more place in wood frames, right? Again, if you find level ground, it works much easier. You see? You get all four flat out like that. Whatever way you face when you place it is the direction it goes. Okay? So you could put multiple ones bridges together. You could set up like a way across this lake just from bridges that you place. You know, you, you can place a bridge there. I don't know if that's going to work. Yeah, it would. I place a bridge there. That gets me out over here. Let's get rid of this. And let's put a bridge there. See what happens. Oh, I didn't place a bridge. I placed the old one, didn't I? Derp, derp, derp. Okay. Place a bridge here. Bam! Let's get some old wood down here. I think. Trying to see if I can. Oh, it'll float is what I'm looking for. Nope, so you gotta support it. I'm just trying to get you an idea here, so. Bridge. Bridge. Well, you, know, you can see how handy that could be. So you're running. See, there's nowhere really to cross. So you're running and zombies or somebody's chasing you. You know, and you could do that. You could run all the way across real quick. Why is it not working? Maybe because I'm standing on it. Or I'm too far away, that's it. I'm in God mode right now. All right, but you turn. You know, you can set up bridges to cross these places. And if you want to enter the zombie's path and make them fall on a spike, how oh, you could lure zombies out across this thing and then. Make them plummet to their death, right? Anyway. That's in the game right now. It's live. Uh, these doors are pretty cool, I think. And yeah, you can walk through them. Absolutely. Let's drop God mode. Alright, let's do this here for you.
You son of a bitch. Okay, so I click on this. You run in. Boom! Done. How awesome is that? And that's not a wall you can go through either. Anyway, that's live. I just sort of rambling now, I think. So yeah, the book's in. You should be able to find it in a bookcase or something, or wherever you find books. The cable one you have to buy in the store. Uh, but the rest of it you can make. Peace.